says I'm live, but I don't know if I am, so I'm just going to hang here for a minute. <laughs> I really need an excellent camera and some lighting gear and a better microphone to do all this stuff. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Witch Michelle, or maybe you're watching this live on Facebook. Either way, saunter on over to my YouTube channel, Witch Michelle, and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Maybe like some of the videos if you watch them or comment on them. It would be awesome. I would be most grateful for a, um, a trip to my YouTube channel. It's not going to always be about shadow work but um this morning i got up and i actually counted because monday's the new week begins a new week obviously and i decided to count how many weeks have i actually been doing this and so i'm pretty impressed with myself it's been um 10 weeks and in that 10 weeks i have also meditated for um six weeks straight too so this has been COVID is a really shitty fucking thing, but COVID is also given, at least for me in my own personal self, uh, a chance to actually dig inside of myself spiritually, uh, physically, uh, in my business. Lots of things have changed. I got up this morning and I, I sent out postcards as marketing, which I haven't done. <laughs> Gosh, man, in years. So I think I'm going to start sending postcards out monthly. Um, part of my last meditation or this week or this last two weeks meditation has been on abundance and creating your own abundance and knowing that that it's there everybody gets a seat at the table and then today it just occurred to me I need to I need to send out some postcards I need to do an active marketing every month I can't just rely on what my own uh, company gives to me and I pay for that as well but <clears throat> you know you have to have marketing for more than one source if you're going to make a business work. So here we are. Yesterday I only came on just to do a little funny thing about what I was thinking of in my head to give you guys a little moment of how um how I think. But yesterday when I did my tarot in my bullet journal, um, the tarot uh, polls have actually prompted the journal entries. And yesterday... I felt like I was really starting to understand what's going on with me. I had a couple of really good revelations about how my screaming and yelling when I get angry at people, about people, when something scary is happening to me, all of that is for somebody else to fix my problems for me. And I realized that if I'm asking my gods and putting work into the universe to make myself a self-sufficient person, I have to stop asking people to fix shit for me and actually get up and do those things. Um, so yesterday, um, when I sat down with my bullet journal and pulled my card for, you know, for the day, my question was, I think I'm getting it. I just want to remember to remember it. A little confirmation would be great. And then I pulled the Ace of Swords. And anytime you get an Ace in any card, in any tarot deck, it's a good fucking thing. That is pretty much confirmation um, of the question that you're answering, that, you're, that it's a confirmation of whatever it is you're asking. So I'm asking, am I on the right path? How are things going? And this is what that card means. That card means that you are doing well, but this is the very beginning of where you've just now figured it out. You're, you're doing great. You're on the right path. Um, it's, you're growing in your mind. It's like a new roadmap or a new story that you're writing yourself. It's becoming part of your consciousness. I'm seeing the potential and I'm starting to see the little gains. So it, like I said, when I, I posted something today about my bullet journal and Lots of things go into my bullet journal now that I would have normally posted on Facebook, but I'm trying to live in a more peaceful life, and I understand that plucking the web with my negativity is not going to make things better for anyone else, including myself. So I've been throwing those things in my journal, which is a little step in the right direction about how I am changing the way that I react to certain stimuli. Um... You're starting to see your thought patterns and where they arise from. And I'm seeing more clearly. I'm seeing the motivation of it. I see how serious I need to take it. 
and I and I have some equanimity, which means I have some self-control, which is a really big fucking deal for me. I don't think I've had much self-control most of my life and never really have been accountable for not having that self-control. It's gotten me in a lot of trouble. And and I would do the same shit over and again and go, why is this still happening? Because I'm insane and I keep doing the same shit over again. Well, what I'm doing is insane. I'm not really insane. Um, I have begun to see and think in new ways, but in the card for, um, in the card point of origination, the ace of swords, at the very bottom of the card, it's very hard to see these little white specks at the bottom of the card. Those are the bones of the things that are no longer serving us. But they're still there, and they, I can still see them. So it's a really important time that you, uh, to re recognize it. Yes, I'm making strides in the right direction, but that shit is still right there, and it can creep right back in. Because those neural pathways that I have carved in the way that I react towards certain stimuli are familiar and easy and fit nicely because they've been worn so well. I have to be very careful about not repeating old patterns. So, you know, and who says that's easy? It's not easy at all. If it was, we could fix Alzheimer's patients, like, in a second. Um, right now is a good time. This card is telling me it's a good time for me to remember what brought me to this journey of shadow work to begin with, to really contemplate the things that trigger me. And it also reminds me, and I'm not sure if it was, yeah, it reminds me that I don't, I don't have to give people answers or engage in conversations when I feel the trigger because you're not going to never not feel the trigger. You're not going to never not feel the anger. You're not never going to, you're always going to have those feelings, those gut reactions for me. That's where they manifest is in my stomach. Yeah, it's okay. It's the reaction to those things that needs to be different. And so things that I'm going to do for my own self differently that I've not really done in the past is when people want to have conversation with me that's difficult or it might be a little hurtful for both of us or one of us or whatever. Or I might feel that I'm really angry about whatever it is we're going to go talk about. I'm not going to have that conversation then. I'm going to look at my friends, my family, whatever this is, and tell them, I need time to process this, and I am going to get back to you when I'm ready to talk. And then I'm going to come into my bullet journal, and I'm going to dump the shit that I need to that's in my head into my journal, and then I'm going to take some time to move away from that, and then I'm going to come back to that dumping page, and I'm going to look at that stuff and find more positive ways to deal with the situation or the stress or the problem that I have because I can work this out. I can take care of myself. I am self-sufficient. I can work things out with friends, family, my business, whatever it is. I just need to take some time to step back and think about the, the best way for me to handle these things. So it's not to create more chaos in my life and other people's lives. And then today was starting a new week, and it started with a major arcana card, and in the t traditional tarot, this is would be judgment. Uh, this is transcending judgment, and it's asking me to not judge people and things and situations that are going on around me this week. Super hard, because I do love a good intrigue. So... I'm going to have to, and even not judging myself, which I have probably done in this video. I'll have to go back and look. It's t trying to look at, at people in situations in, with the eyes of compassion and understanding that their reactions, just like the ones that I have when they come off and I'm telling people I'm going to kill them and burn the house down and beat someone's ass or whatever the shit is that comes out of my head, that is coming from a place of woundedness, of, of 
things that were shoved into me. It was a product of how I have, um, of the conditioning that I had. So the things that people say and do that irritate me, there's a neighbor across the street, this broad, I just, she pushes my fur backwards. I don't know what it is and I'm gonna spend today because that's one place where I can actually experiment in the dumping page. What is it about this lady that makes me so fucking angry that I want to say some shit to her? I have to look at her in a different way. I have to look at the, understand that though her reactions are just the reactions of her conditioning and that she's trying to get love and acceptance too. So it's looking at things deeper, not just at the surface. I've always said that I, I feel like I fly above the grass and I see things down there, but I really don't know what's happening down in the dirt. I don't get it. And I need to be more into the whole picture of stuff that's going on. I, I have, it, when you, and also it's, we don't want to look at people that are suffering, right? We don't want to look at people that are homeless or drug addicts. That's why it's so easy for people to say that those people should go to prison or we should run them off and they shouldn't be in our neighborhoods or whatever it is because nobody wants to look at stuff. In our culture, we don't like to look at the not as pretty stuff. We don't want to talk about death. We don't want to talk about drug addicts. We don't want to talk about addiction. We don't want to talk about illness. We don't want to talk about any of that because if we don't knock, talk about it, then we don't have to see it. If we actually open ourselves up to all of those things in ourselves and other people, we will look at things more compassionately. We will, we will try, help, maybe try to find ways to help people instead of wanting to run them off or run ourselves off or ignore things that, that are not palatable to us. We have to learn to embrace all of that stuff. So you're looking to forgive yourself and you're not looking at things that you've said or done as right or wrong just where I've been off the mark or where maybe they're off the mark and how can I get back to that state of innocence and wholeness that is my underlying nature compassion liberates and soothes us so that's what this whole week is going to be about being non-judgmental Deepak Chopra says that we should sit in quiet contemplation sometimes for entire days for a Sagittarius or any fire sign that's really difficult you would think it would be hard for air signs too but a lot of air signs can be super fucking quiet and not have anything to say um actually i think fire signs are probably the most talkative and communicative of all of the of the signs air signs maybe second um earth signs third and water signs for sure are the least air signs speak only when they think they can add something to the narrative um, earth signs speak with authority and when they think that what they have to say is the right thing to say and they want to say anyone to be the last person to speak water signs take a long time to tell you what's up because they they are really deep in their own heads and in their own emotions and in their own self that that's pro I would imagine shadow work has got to be super difficult for water signs. So anyway, that's that for today. Look, that only took me 13 and a half minutes. Bravo, baby Lou. So, yep. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really, I'm feeling sort of tired and just like I need to recharge my spiritual batteries today and um, start my exercise tomorrow and um, I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner I, I don't have anything to fix and I don't feel like going anywhere but I'm gonna have to do that I guess I'm just gonna take some time clean a little bit maybe in silence and think about what I need to think about and how I need to change some stuff about the way I think about myself and other people I think after the last week of like actually learning to embrace my body and love it for the things that it does. I've started doing things in the shower. That <laughs> sounds so dirty, right? I am, um, I'm as I'm washing myself in the shower now. I send prayers to all the different parts of my body and to myself, so that I can understand and know what 
all of it does, how well it functions and how smart I am and how I'm connected and how I work and love and play and embrace and nourish and this whole middle section of your body man when you stop and think about what that place houses and how all that's like that's the engine and transmission of your fucking body and you have to be grateful for every little function of it and every little nuance and every little curve and every little part of it and every little new age that you come into and every new thing that you experience about your body so I think that that being non-judgmental this week about especially that solar plexus and um, sacral area in my body is going to be something that I'm going to work on fiercely and my self-esteem because I did my, my ritual for my new moon yesterday and that was all about my self-esteem and my work and knowing that I am a smart, capable person who deserves a place at the table in all my uniqueness and beauty and in all of the ways that I express myself differently than other people. I am not a copy of somebody else and I would never want to be a copy of anybody else. I am learning so much to like this person. She's funny <laughs> and she is loving and she is quirky and she's got a quick temper but she's learning how to temper the temper. I would love to know what you think of this video. I would love if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, channel Witch Michelle. I would love if you would leave some comments in the box below. You guys have a good day.